Okay, this is super exciting. Hi guys, Dane here. And today I'm doing potentially the first part in a series, if people enjoy this, of like a let's play of this... Hello, Biggie. This is a game that I made back in the day. So uh, it's built using RPG Maker. And uh, yeah, I used to be... My first book came out through a horror imprint called Forsaken. The background image of the title screen here is Maddie Von Stark, who was like the leader of Forsaken. And you'll recognise her name coming up and various other people. You'll re see references to J.G. Clay, for example, who's an indie author, who I enjoy a lot. And so, yeah, I thought I'd have a go at this and see how it goes. And if this goes well, we can do a whole series of, like, literary Let's Plays, I guess. Because I'm sure there are games based on Sherlock Holmes and stuff. Okay. Oh, no, I'm not, I'm not active here. All right, here we go. All right, new game. I'll do the voices as well. So, all right, here we go. Uh, where am I? What the hell is this place? Hey. Hey, you. Yes. Who are you? I could ask you the same question. Ha! My name is Jesse. I hunt yetis. That's what I do. You see a yeti, you call me. Nice to meet you, Jesse. My name is Dane. I'm, I'm not sure how I got here. Wait. I remember. Oh, okay. So we're in this room. I've got, I've got walkthrough over here. I wrote like, I wrote like a full walkthrough for this game. Uh, so there's not much to do here. Okay. So we're going to come over to here, talk to the book. Just another day at the office. Let's see. Ah, yes. Like the brief doomed flare of a thousand exploding suns that... What the hell is this? A, a spider? So that line is actually the opening line to um, The Exorcist. Okay, so I've got to fight this thing here. I don't think there's much I can do. I've just got to... Die! Yes! Oh no, it got me, it got me. Alright, um... No, we're alright, we can keep going. So, as you can see, the battle's like, very Final Fantasy style. We should... I don't have any items! Oh! Okay, so actually... This, uh, this battle sequence here... If it, if it unfreezes for long enough for me to continue playing. So actually, this battle sequence here, um, it's kind of luck. All you can do is hit and hope. And with a bit of luck, you'll win. I can't, I can't keep taking these hits. Yes! Yes! Take that! Alright, this calls for a beer. Dane was victorious. 35 experience received. 50 gold pieces found. So we beat the spider. I mean, we can check our status here. Actually, let's save. Because, so one one thing I will say about this game is that, like, it's built in a way that you just need to repeatedly save all of the time. Otherwise, you've got no chance. Hey! Hey, it bit me! Ugh. I feel kind of woozy. I guess that's how I ended up here. I see. That's quite the story, young man. Hey, it's the truth. You're on the dunes, boy. South of Shankvale, the town that time forgot. You'll be wanting to go north. Past Shankvale to Castle Von Stark. She'll be wanting to see you. She? Who's she? I'm talking about the Duchess boy, Duchess Maddie Von Stark, heir to the Von Stark fortune. She also knows more about rare spiders and poisons than anyone I've ever met. You'll find her easily enough. You're not coming with me? I've got more important things to do than chasing after you, boy. Take this and get lost. I've got a yeti to hunt. Oh, I got a potion. So, um, yeah. Jesse James Freeman was the VP of Community Management at Booktrope back in the day. Is there an item here? I feel like there might be. 
And uh, he wrote a book where there was a character that was a, a yeti hunter. Okay, so cool. So our health and status effects are all back to normal and stuff. Uh, so, right. I reckon... It's like uh, any... Oh, yes! A potion! Sweet, okay. Is that it? Follow the footsteps. Oh, so we've got this cave. Okay. So a shovel. A shovel! Looks like something a grave digger might use. It's no good to me. So that's a reference to uh, Michael Israel Jarvis, who was also on the imprint, and uh, he wrote a book called Grave Digger. Is this money? Hey, there's some gold here. 250 GP. Zawit. Can I... Should we sleep? I think we should sleep. Although, we should probably save, but we'll go for it. Ah, much better. So, yeah, there's a thing where... Um, Oh yeah, okay, yeah, so basic let's uh, wander around a bit actually and get into a random battle or two. Because those will happen, but also you can get into random battles if you sleep in an area such as this. Actually maybe there are no monsters here, I don't know. No, okay, alright, so there is uh, a reason for this cave as well, so we'll see that later. Possibly in a later episode. Okay, uh, we wanna go north. Hey mate, how you doing? Come come here. <laughs> Welcome to Shankvale. Thank you. Cheers, buddy. Hey kid. Hey mister, want an apple? Uh, yeah, I'll have an apple. Sure. Awesome. I got an apple. Laters. Hey, it glitched because it's... <laughs> My god, it is, it is actually glitched. Okay, there's, there's, there's nothing I can do about this. It's glitched. He's supposed to run away and give me an apple. Hey, kid. Give me a fucking apple. <laughs> Great. Alright. Well, at least I can load my old save. Oh, I'm back here. Great. All right, we, we, I'm not doing all the dialogue here. Okay, we'll skip through all this. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, give me an apple. Awesome. I got an apple. Laders. Hey. Hey, wait. Give me... Give me... Give me my money. Oi. Oi. Ah, okay, yeah. It's deliberately built like that so you can't catch him. So, <laughs> But it's part of the story. You do need the gold. Okay, so we're in Shankvale. So we're gonna go, we're gonna go over here to the pub. Okay, a few things to do. So, let's go talk to the barman. Hey, buddy! What'll it be? I would like. Let me just check. I'm. I'm not. I'm not checking my own walkthrough over here. Death whiskey. Give me some death whiskey. Oops. Looks like we're out of death whiskey. You'll have to take this instead. Okay. Potion for me. Very nice. Uh, so we're gonna go. And... What does this do? Nothing here. Ah. Uh, okay. We're gonna try and play the piano. Awesome! A piano! Wish it could play. Okay, that's important. That comes into play in a little bit. Okay, let's talk to Kimmel over here. He's named after Alex Kimmel, who is a, another indie author. Psst. Hey, friend! Fancy a roll of the dice? Yeah, let's have a roll. Let's have a roll. Okay, let's do this. Okay, 50 GP. Yes! I made money. Hit me up when you're ready to play again. Alright, let's have one more go. See how we get on. Not so good. Net loss. Alright. Best of three. 
Okay, we're about even here. That'll do. Who have we got over here? Armin. <laughs> Who's this? Enzo. Excuse me, would you mind giving my colleague and I some privacy? We're discussing delicate matters. Yeah, well, he's... Your colleague's drunk, mate. Okay, out of here. It's kind of interesting, because I don't remember it. <laughs> so, like, I don't really know what I'm doing. I don't have any forewarning, apart from the tutorial that I wrote. Which is ridiculously long. Hey! Landlord Bob, he says... Way down in Louisiana, close to New Orleans. Way back up in the woods among the evergreens. Oh, hey. Want a room? Um, what's, what's this piano about? Can you teach me to play the piano? No. But I can get you started with some 12 bar blues. Yeah, I learned to play three chords. Okay, so I don't know whether... Do I go and rock out I might I might have to go and rock out on this other piano I can't remember let's go back so one of the ultimate weapons you unlock is from playing all the pianos awesome a piano yeah I played some 12 bar blues okay uh my health like my health's okay actually we're gonna go and um we're gonna go back out and strategically battle a little bit just to get some levels here so we're just gonna you know do that kind of power level thing of walking backwards and forwards like you do in any turn-based fantasy game i mean they call this uh, software rpg maker but it's just final fantasy clone i, I should have saved i really should have saved i don't know why i didn't Yeah! You wanna step to me? As long as he doesn't poison me, I think I'll be alright. My god, he's... Oh! 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 No! <laughs> Oh, I suck at my own game. Great. When was my last save? When? Ah. <laughs> well, anyway. Thanks for joining me for episode one of my Forsaken game playthrough. Uh, I'll put some more info below. Let me know in the comments if you've enjoyed this. And, um, you know, I can continue playing. This is like, as I say, I created this entirely in RPG Maker. And it's, it's it was fun. So, as always, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to leave a comment to let me know what you think. Hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. Hit subscribe for more. And I'll see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.